Before we start with direct mapping, let's have some basic idea about physical address, main memory, block offset, etc. For this, let's assume our system has a main memory of size 128 bytes and the system is byte addressable, which means that hardware can access individual bytes. So for 128 byte memory, CPU can generate 128 unique addresses to point to each byte. The address generated by CPU is called as physical address and it is in binary format. In our example, main memory is 128 bytes, which is 2 power 7 bytes. So we need 7 bits for physical address, where all zeros point to the first byte and all ones point to the last byte. Since main memory is relatively slower, we use cache. When processor needs a byte of information, the byte requested has to be loaded onto the cache. But instead of one byte, a chunk of data bytes are transferred. This chunk of data bytes is called as a frame or a block. And this is done to take the advantage of spatial locality because usually instructions are in a sequence. So the chance of usage of the next byte is high. Okay, now let's take the size of the block as 8 bytes. Since the data transfer is in terms of blocks instead of bytes, for convenience, let's change the diagram. This 128 memory cells can be thought as rows and columns. Here each row has 8 memory cells and this row is the memory block and in our example it is 8 bytes. Now think for a second how many blocks will be there given that memory size is 128 bytes and block size is 8 bytes. Just try. Okay. To get the number of blocks we divide memory size with block size. So here in this case 128 by 8 which is 16 blocks if we number them it will be 0 1 2 so on till 15 and these are called block index or block numbers similarly we can number the columns 0 1 2 so on till 7 and these are called block offset okay for convenience let me redraw the diagram in this diagram i have represented all the 128 cells starting from 0 till 127 and for convenience i have given the block index in binary notation and even the block offset in binary notation suppose cpu generates physical address 100 this address in decimal notation it is 73 and if you try to search this 73 in this memory cells you can see it over here this belongs to row number 9 and column 1 if you carefully observe the block offset is 001 and look at the physical address the first 3 bits or the least significant 3 bits this represents the block offset now look at the block index, it is 1, double zero, 001. In the physical address, other than the block index, the rest of the bits match with the block index. So this is your block index. Okay, let's take one more. Suppose the physical address is 01, triple zero, double 001. This is 35 in decimal. And if you search for 35, it is over here. It belongs to row 4 and uh, column 3 and here also we can notice look at the block offset it is 0 double 1 so the least significant 3 bits are 0 double 1 and look at the block index it is 0 1 double 0 and here also the rest of the bits are 0 1 double 0 so basically the least significant bits are your block offset and the rest of the bits are your block index Okay, let's generalize this. When we have a physical address, in that the least significant bits always refer to block offset and the rest of the bits are the block index. Here, the number of bits for the block offset depends on block size. And the number of bits for the block index depends on number of blocks. To understand this in depth, let's take an example. Suppose we have 64 byte main memory and inside that the block size is 8 byte. 
I can write this as main memory size is 64 byte that is 2 power 6 bytes so we need 6 bits to represent the physical address so physical address bits are 6 then we have the block block size is 8 bytes which is 2 power 3 bytes so we need 3 bits for block offset and now to find the number of blocks we divide memory size with block size this is 64 by 8 which is 8 blocks or I can write as 2 power 3 blocks so this 3 is nothing but the block index so we have block index 3 bits so in the physical address 6 bits the first 3 bits or the least significant 3 bits will be the block offset the rest of the 3 bits are here block index now if we generalize this so memory size can be thought as 2 power physical address then from block size we are able to get block offset so block size is 2 power block offset and from number of blocks we are getting the block index so number of blocks is 2 power block index and lastly physical address is actually a combination of block offset and block index therefore I can say PA is equals to BI plus BO where this PA, BI and BO are the number of bits in representation this is this is 6 this is 3 and 3 so 3 plus 3 is 6 these formulae are very important for gate so let's list them in a proper format when we know the main memory size if we express it in terms of exponent of 2 the exponent becomes the physical address bits and if block size is also given if we write it in terms of exponent of 2 it becomes 2 power block offset and to calculate the number of blocks it is memory size by block size and if we write the result in terms of exponent of 2 it becomes 2 power block index and if this is the physical address least significant bits will be the block offset and the rest of the bits will be the block index okay i hope you are clear with this you can give the title as main memory formulae 